Hi, I'm Wendy Olson. I'm a local artist. Well, local to the earth anyway. <laughs> um, I began doing artwork featuring around wildlife and developed my skills painting birds and animals and some landscapes, but I wasn't very good at... I didn't feel I was very good at getting my point across with the landscapes. It wasn't long before I moved into painting from my imagination. I quit watching television and devoted that time that I'd been spending watching television to putting my imagination onto paper. Um, I work in acrylic paints primarily and love working on various types of paper and also canvases. My artwork is based on my imagination and my interpretations of the world and the way I see things and the way I feel things. The paintings that I've done recently, uh, my, my reflection on my feelings at, at the time of um, my husband's diagnosis of cancer, the first lot of paintings in this series were about the shock of the diagnosis and how you can be just travelling along in life on your own merry way, not thinking too much about anything, and then suddenly the world falls out from under you and you have to deal with it. So my paintings show this, I hope. You, know, you just don't know what's around the corner. Um, some of the other paintings in the series are about other people's reactions to the illness and how suddenly you feel so isolated from the rest of the world and how you can feel like you're in your own bubble, so to speak. Other people can look in, they can sympathise, but not really feel what you're going through. Some of the paintings are about my feelings of where I should be but where I am. When Pierre was alive, um, there was not much else I could do and there's not much else I wanted to do but be with him. And my paintings helped me fill in my time and clear my head and put my ideas in, and thoughts into perspective. One of the paintings, where I am and where I should be, is me in the cement, in the concrete, just a stone frozen statue of a face and where I should be is elsewhere. I should be flying, soaring. <laughs> but at the time there was nothing I could do and nowhere else I wanted to be. So it was an acceptance of my circumstances and the situation I was in. The next painting that I started before Pierre died that is still not completed but will be is about being in a sort of a the basis of the painting is concrete, meaning you know the situation is real, it's very solid and unchangeable. But there's doors, and each door leads to the unknown, a blue sky beyond, who knows, the doors are closed. But each door has a possibility behind it that can lead to anything, anything and everything. The world is full of possibilities now. Yep, I am facing it all alone, without Pierre here. But at the same time, it's an adventure and I feel that he gave me the confidence to look at myself as a worthy person and somebody capable of being able to face the world alone. My adventure awaits. <laughs>